Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 122. So today's episode, guys, I want to show you some deadly commands you should never run on your Linux box. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now, Linux terminal commands are very, very powerful. And Linux won't ask you for confirmation if you run a command that won't break your system. Uh, it's very uncommon to see trolls online recommending new Linux users to run certain commands as jokes even though you don't know what you're doing you're just basically doing it because you have a professional telling you to run the command so learning some of these commands that you shouldn't run can help you to protect yourself from these trolls from online so let's go now I won't run these commands but I will explain these commands to you guys now the first one is rm space dash rf now, what does what does this command do? Now, this command deletes everything. The RM basically removes the following files, and the dash RF runs the RM recursively, which deletes all the files and folders inside a specific folder. Now, it forces removes all folders without prompting you, and the forward slash, which is this. If you do that forward slash, you're basically telling the you basically telling the RM command to start at the root of the directory which contains all the files on the computer. That's a big no-no. You guys don't really want to do that. Now, that's one deadly command you do not want to deal with. Now, another command, which is actually a, a batch or shell command. Um, I'm gonna do a GP uh, G edit. I was about to say GP edit, like I'm in a Windows machine. Now you can actually run colon, open and close the brackets, wiggly bracket, space, colon, line, colon, at, space, wiggly, semi, and colon. Now, this command right here, guys, is considered a folk bomb. Now, what's a folk bomb? Now, a folk bomb is basically... Uh, a function or a shell function that creates itself and makes new copies of itself constantly. Now the process will continue replicating itself, and it copies continuously replicating its, uh, them, you know, itself, quickly taking all the CPU time and memory. Now this would basically will make your computer freeze up, and it would be useless for you to do anything on the machine just basically you have to shut down if you're pretty smart on this you probably create a, a script that we're running on startup and you basically destroy the machine that's a big no-no so I don't even want to deal with that one so I'm gonna close I'm gonna close that up close without saving now do it clear on this now the next one the next one is a command to format your hard drive uh, I don't think you want to do that one. So it's mkfs dot ext four space back uh, four slash dv four slash sda one. Okay. Now this command is a little simple to understand. The mkfs dot ext four creates a new ext four file system on the following device. Now the forward slash dev forward slash SDA1 specifies that the first partition in the first hard drive, which is probably in use, uh, should be taken and you guessed it, reformatted. You guys do not want that. So that's a daily command. Keep an eye on that one. Now, one of my favorite ones. One of my favorite ones is this one. I'm gonna erase this guy right here. Is the MV the MV command is the move command? You do do a wiggly sign right there. Space forward slash dev forward slash no. Now I can actually run these commands because I'm in a virtual machine, but I'm not gonna do that. Now 
What does what does this command do? Which is very deadly. It moves your home directory into a black hole. Forward slash dv dev forward slash no is another spe special location moving s something to the dv to the dev forward slash no is the same thing as destroying it. Okay. Uh, basically, think of the forward slash dev forward slash no as a black hole essentially moving moving it to that location sends all your personal files into a black hole is like a constant blue you don't know where it's at it's gonna be destroyed that's a big no no and you guys do not want to deal with that uh, that's about it that's about it guys uh, hopefully you guys found these quick tips on Deadly commands that you shouldn't use on your Linux box and keep an eye out for anyone trying to tell you you run this because it's a cool trick on your Linux box. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Please give me thumbs up. I do appreciate those thumbs up as well as comments. Um, at the very top there is a subscribe button if you guys want to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software and gaming. Please subscribe to my channel and I catch you guys later. Thank you so much.